I guess it's time for a spring farm update. So since the last update, I got the new hydraulic hoses on the forklift attachment for the tractor. Had a little problem. One of the hoses was the wrong size, but still um, was able to get it on there and it worked fine. Uh, so I hooked it up to the tractor and uh, and started using it to unload grain and found that it was a little bit shy of what I wanted. Um, I wanted it to lift one ton, which is 2,000 pounds, and it can lift around 1,800 pounds. So when I take four bags off of, four or five bags off of a ton, then it lifts it fine, but before then it struggles and it can't get it up. But I can still use it for stuff around the farm, so it'll still be useful. And the other thing is, I uh, recently got a bunch of pigs. Um, these are from a different litter. I got about f uh, five more, and that was just to add a couple more for the um, summer pigs that we're raising this year. Um, but since the pigs are new to uh, this group of pigs and they're different litter, pigs are kind of territorial. So I set up a new area for the pigs, um, so that way they they aren't going to get bugged by the um, older, more established pigs. And I found a great tool for setting up the new pig fence, and it's uh, rebar pliers. This, the rebar pliers twist the wire for you and cut it, so it speeds up the process considerably. So I, I, I set up a separate area and had water and feeders in there for the new pigs, and so that way they could kind of get to know the older pigs and, and get along through the fence, and they seem to get along fine. We also started grazing, and the cows are now on pasture. I've got them on the higher ground. The air, we've had a wet spring, and so I'm trying to keep them up on the drier areas. And I um, also finished a brooder, uh, another mobile brooder, and we'll soon have chicks in that as well. But uh, that's it for the farm uh, update. Thanks for watching.